I have here what is probably the cheapest CCS adapter that you can find on Amazon. It cost me 50 bucks Canadian. And the reason I got this is because the supercharger team for Tesla has been pretty much all but dismantled at a time where literally every other car maker is now getting access to the supercharger network. So <laughs> I think things are gonna get pretty busy at uh, superchargers this year. So in order to double my options and give me lots of redundancy, I got myself a CCS adapter and I thought I would test the cheapest one that you can get and uh, hopefully not explode my car. All right, so first up, we're gonna test Flow, which is one of the most popular charging networks for CCS and Chatamo here in Canada. I think this is only a 50 kilowatt unit because most of the uh, Flow CCS are, especially the ones that share with the uh, Chatamo, which this one is. This is where I charge my leaf sometimes. Anyways, we're gonna try and get this plugged in and uh, hopefully it works. This is my first time testing this adapter and uh, being the cheapest one I could find, uh, <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen. So let's find out together. Of course, welcome to the CCS network, where the first charger we pull up to doesn't work. Alright, second station, this one's actually alive. So now, AL420, start. This is actually my first time using CCS, I've never used CCS before. So, plug that in, like so, make contact. Alright, we've got the adapter on. All right, let's see. Hopefully this doesn't explode my car. All right, we're in. Start session. Oh, it's green. It's showing that we're charging. All right, it's showing green. So we're actually getting energy transfer. Honestly, I wasn't too sure that this cheap adapter would actually work. I'll take a screenshot of my phone here and uh, it's actually showing that we're, what our battery state of charge is so that's being communicated properly and it's actually showing our charging speed as 45 kilowatts in the flow app and if i open up the tesla app yeah we're getting 44 kilowatts so i'll let this run for five minutes and then uh, do a temperature check on that adapter and see how it's doing temperature wise all right so it's been about four minutes of it charging let's check the temperature of this thing yeah just feels ambient temperature all right, so we're gonna stop charging here and go try another station from a different brand. There we go. And that should just attach like so. Yeah, everything seems to be okay. No, uh, no issues. Now that was a pretty low powered fast charger, only a max of 50 kilowatts. So next we'll try our luck at uh, something a little faster. All right, so this should do up to 350 kilowatts. I did set the app up, so I, all I should have to do is go... Oh yeah, you can hear it spin up there. Uh, the CCS stations take a hot minute sometimes, so... All right, there we go. All right, so it's seeing our state of charge, which is good. Uh, I think it's starting. All right, we're getting 120, 128 kilowatts. All right, this is the LFP Model 3. So we have a peak top end charging speed of 170 kilowatts. And I did precondition on the way here. So it's uh, it's not being limited by the car. We're getting 130 kilowatts, which is pretty reasonable. So I'm gonna let this run probably for 10 minutes and uh, we'll see how hot that adapter gets. Yeah, so we were at 45% uh, when we plugged in. Peaks right away at 135 kilowatts and it backed down a little bit, but I think that's just because the car is still not at the exact right temperature for fast charging. LFP is weird in the way that it uh, preconditions. I know we're uh, screaming along. We're already at 55%, up 12% already in three minutes. And we're currently at 110 kilowatts. Check the temperature. Nope. Still ambient temperature, hasn't heated up at all yet. All right, so we've gone up to 71%. Uh, we've gone all the way down to 36 kilowatts. I don't think that's the adapter causing it to derate or anything because it is still ambient temperature. It's not heated up almost at all. It's very, very, very slightly, very slightly warmer than ambient, but like almost unnoticeable. So it uh, seems to work perfectly fine with my uh, LFP Model 3. We've gone all the way up from 45% to 71%. We've dumped 15 kilowatts into the pack and accumulated $9 worth of charging. I very gently pull this out. The 
attach the CCS. All right, so that's two different charging providers. So happy to report that the uh, El Cheapo CCS adapter actually worked. I didn't smell anything burning coming from it. It doesn't feel hot at all. As long as I treat it gently, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty useful addition to the uh, charging kit. And like I said, this is an LFP Model 3, so it's never gonna get up close to the peak of what this thing says it's rated for, which is 250 kilowatts. There's only one thing I'm concerned about, and that's this little plastic peg here that tells it that it's connected to the Tesla. I had no issues connecting, no issues with it registering that it was plugged into the Tesla. So if you want to get one, I'll put some Amazon affiliate links in the description. Yeah, not a bad piece of kit.